our adventure brings us to Pirate O's. The building itself is over 100 years old and is a historical landmark for Draper City. It was originally built as a theater for Fort Douglas at the University of Utah in Salt Lake, but in the 1940s they cut nine feet off the bottom of it, cut the building in half, and moved it by truck to its current location, where it specializes in a wide selection of European products, cheeses, specialty items, and provides a delicious lunch. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Shall we? Arg! Hello, everybody! You know what that means? It's nerdy and blurdy time! Blurdy time with you guys. Nerdy time Why with the, you guys. Why do you have those glasses on? Well, you've got yours on. I want to look. I want to look smart too. I have to wear them all the time, Willie. Don't these make me look smarter? They make you look like you got some dirty glasses on because like, you're an old man. Maybe I should put some white tape right there. <laughs> nerdy, <laughs> yeah. Maybe for Halloween. Hi, guys. So uh, we are going to do a home food adventure today. We have been out locally um, going to some different grocery store type places and found some goodies to try with you. Where'd we go? We went to Arr, Arr. Pyra O's. Thanks to... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Hit pause, we'll start over again. No. Well, look it up because that was an awesome suggestion and people should know how smart this person was. Yeah, so we'll insert your name right here. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> All right. I... Let's see. I think there were several people who suggested this. So Pyro O's has like an eclectic, different, all sorts of really cool. products. Uh, they have a lot of candy from all over the world. Um, they had lots of cheeses, they had lots of drinks, which we will be doing another video. Um, they had some nice alcoholics like Jack and chocolate. And, and Irish they coffee. had insects. They had, they had, uh, the insects and I found a new place for my hot sauce. Yes. One of the things you're going to learn about me is I love different hot sauces. He does. And this place was actually more affordable than some of the other places I found. One time we went to New Orleans for a business trip, <laughs> yeah, you will and never forget there that. is this place that's like tastes the world's hottest hot sauce. So Mr. Hot Stuff over here thinks, "Oh, I can handle it. I can handle it." Gets a big old chip full and eats it, and the whole for like an hour afterwards, his snot. eyes were watering snot. snot right and like, guess what? Then we go to have poor boys, and some idiot forgot that he had this stuff. And his eye itched. Ah, <laughs> rubbed his eyes. <laughs> yeah. So I've been trying to get him to do the chip, the hottest chip challenge, and we'll see. He won't. So if you want him to do the hot chip challenge, I'm sure I can't do it because it probably has black or white pepper in it. Uh, comment below chip challenge or do a chip emoji. There we go. You have 23 comments for interesting places to go. And we are going to be going to this. And as we go to them, we will give you shout outs and thank yous. Yes. So thank you for all your suggestions, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or um, here on YouTube. And remember to subscribe so Trisha. that you see these. Yay, Trisha! I also like Pirate O. Sometimes we find things from the Unbox for Sale. Now, Yum Box is referring to the other adventure that we do with our friends. Um, and you'll see this in a lo later post, too. Yeah. All right, so we have also went to a Mexican uh, grocery we went store to a couple of them. and found some produce to try, too. So we're not just eating to scrap. And I'm excited I'm because t both of these items, I have not tasted the fresh one. Fresh I've never tasted it fresh or otherwise. So, let's pull something out of this bag. 
Okay, we'll do this one because you wanted to do this one. So, See, we crap got first. some <laughs> chocolate, rose-flavored chocolate. This is from Pirate O's. And where is the chocolate from? Uh, it just says, Fien oh, turn around. Villemoche. Um, Can't read. Chocolate Gambles and Company. It doesn't have a company or country name on it. So we've tasted like rose flavored candies. We like Turkish delights. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't like like rose flo flowery teas. Okay. So here is the chocolate. It's even embossed. I don't know. Yeah, I can get it close enough. Uh oh. Back off. She got a knife. She knows how to use it. All right. So it's a milk chocolate. Is it? Kind of got a dark chocolate smell to it. Mm -mm. I think the rose on the front was just decoration because <laughs> I'm not tasting any front rose. Me neither. But it's good. It's a milk chocolate. It's good. You can find it at Pirate O's in right. Draper, Utah. It's worth the trip. Come on over from the East Coast. <laughs> All right, then we got, um... Ooh, those are drizzled with something. Nope, that's how they are. These are Dutch. They're Stroopies. They are syrup wafers. Nice. These look naughty. <laughs> so I've seen lots of other YouTubers try these. Like and so who? when I saw them, I was like... Like who? I don't remember the names. Ooh. I thought it was just a single wafer, but they are like a syrup cookie. Or they have like a sandwich. caramel type thing in them. Mmm, they smell cinnamony. Yep, cinnamon, mini, mini, mini. Mmm. Okay, let's rate the chocolate. What do you rate? It's chocolate. How can it be anything less than a nine? Mm, I'm gonna say like a six on the chocolate. This. Now, as a unique chocolate, I would I would agree, but chocolate in general. You have to save some, but we have a surprise for you at the end of the video. And it's a surprise for me, too. But if you've seen the title, you already know what it is. I don't even know what the title is, and I'm the video editor. All right. <laughs> Should we do... Should we do we do? So, this we got... Um, at the Mexican grocery store. It looks like what? a M&M cookie, cookie, but it's cake. huge. Look how big it is compared to my head. Huge. Now, one thing I've noticed about feels like it's a drier cookie. That's what I was going to say. Most of the most of the pastries you get from overseas and oh, it's from really... Mexico, it's usually a bit drier than what we are No, we're going to share this one cuz that's for the surprise at the end. It almost looks like a shortbread cookie. Mm-hmm. And see how it's crumbling mm. apart. Flavor is good. Mm-hmm. Definitely a shortbread type cookie with um. It's got M and M's in it. Many M and M's. Okay. What would you rate this? Mmm. A seven. Here's my healthy tip for today. If you take an entire bag of M&M's, throw a single raisin in it, you now have a bag of trail mix. You're good to go. You're so funny. I am. Okay. I'm going to say that. that's a... An eight. I liked it. Well, mine is mainly on flavor because I like, I like the softer cookies. Me too. This would be good with... Milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it would probably disintegrate in the milk. Mm -hmm. Alright. We'll do a savory item. These I definitely got for, because I'm going to probably be like, Bleh. They make Some a great drink. Let's see if they do a great chip. Guinness potato chips. I think it's just a Guinness name. I don't think it's got like Guinness flavoring. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. It's the ultimate snack pack. Burt's Thick Cut Hand Cooked Table Chips. Oh no. 
when I open it if it's going to be Guinness flavored. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like it, Willie. The thing she does because she loves me. I know, I looked at and I'm off. I better get them because if he sees them, he'll end up getting them. You get one chip, I'll take a couple. So they're like kettle corn chips. Kettle, these are, these are kettle thick. chips. I mean, look at the edges of those. Those are at least but an eighth of an inch thick. Beer. Mmm. <laughs> they do have a beer. Hint to them. Ah! <laughs> The aftertaste is horrible. Welcome to Guinness. <laughs> is that what it really tastes like? Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> You're gross. See, the funny thing, we talked about pranks before, and I can eat some really awful stuff and keep a straight face with a smile on it. <laughs> Do you like those for real, though? Yeah, they're good. Or you're faking it. No, I'm not faking. This is not a fake. I do like these. These are, these are good. All right, save some room. All right, we also got this drink. That's back from Pyro O's. It's one of the first carbonated drinks, I believe. It's called Diet Cheer Wine. <coughs> it says it's a cherry sparkling soft drink. And we got this strictly because of the can opener feature. I'm not a big soda drinker though, so, so we'll see. What was that all about? What? Holding the mic up to the mic. You want to make sure it was carbonated or something? Mm hmm Okay. Ladies first. <coughs> it is diet, so it doesn't have a lot of sugar. To it. <coughs> it smells like... Cherry soda. Dr. Pepper. No, I haven't tasted it. Smell it. Yeah, it does. And you know what? That might be the, the originator before Dr. Pepper became came to, to be. It tastes just like Dr. Pepper that I remember. Mm hmm. I would say it's a... It's got more of a cherry flavor to it, though. Okay, so the chips for me is a big fat zero. Have a Put a horrible, one in front of them. Horrible aftertaste. Uh, but the drink, I would say, is about mm, a six. I'm not a huge soda drinker, so... As a kind of sort of uh, carbonated beverages, I would give it an eight. An eight? I like that. Do you like Dr. Pepper? I do. You do? I'm also a nostalgic fan, so I like the original flavors of soda when they first came out. You know, back when Coke had actually cocaine in it. You never the more even, you know. You never <laughs> even knew. No. All right, this next one I got because it looks interesting. This is cactus candy. Has um, pear cactus juice. Prickly pear, which... Ah, ah, spoilers. Spoilers, darling. All right. Oh, it looks like a... Um, Turkish Delight. It's mm -hmm. jelly. It's got sugar on it. Now it has some Mexican cookie on it. Mm -hmm. We like jelly candies, though. We do. Especially in our house, jelly candies with dog hair. I was just going to eat it, but she's going to do that. Um, it's a little softer than most of the jelly candies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I don't like the texture. I'd rather have gummy jelly. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's more of a melt in your mouth type jelly. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is good. All right. The next two items are the same, but not the same. We'll follow it up with just what we did. Um, we got some prickly pears. So I googled and it said you can eat both of them. Well, I hope so. so we them to eat. Well, but I didn't know if this was like ripe. Oh, okay. And that one's ripe or not ripe. So it basically said cut them in half and you can just spoon them out. Oh, cool. It looks like a pudding. 
and they said the seeds are edible, but they're a little bit bitter. This kind of reminds me of dragon fruit, how, it you was. know, we've had the dragon fruit that was red and the dragon fruit that was white. I've always thought prickly pears were It smells were like a cactus. It smells like a mm -hmm. house plant. I was thinking prickly pear was going to be just like a pear where you eat it that way. Probably get a smaller knife to... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ladies first. Mmm. No. <laughs> what does it taste like? Actually, it doesn't have any flavor. <laughs> I'm not biting down on the seeds. I'll swallow the seeds. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's what our, our viewers just love to watch you spit into a bag. <laughs> it tastes like a wa rotten watermelon. I don't get that. I get you don't mainly the water aspect, no flavor at all. Okay, let's try the ripe one. I'll go first. Is it unripe versus ripe, or were they two different? I don't know. I don't if know. If you know, let us know. Because uh, there was no signs. Mm. That one probably could be. If this has got more flavor on it, this, I'd almost say this is where it's ripe versus unripe. I don't like the doing? seeds, though. Just They're too them. hard. Don't bite them, just swallow them. And then you're going to have a prickly pear girl in your tummy. Mm -hmm. That kind of has like a florally sweet. Yeah, that's more That's more of a, a fruity flavor to it. Where that just, it's will definitely keep you thirsty keep you water, de or hydrated. I did not like the green one at all. It tasted like rotten watermelon to me. Ew. You want some more of this? You gotta save some of it. Well, there's half. Oh, no, I don't. I'm good. I'm, also, just, I'm also the garbage disposal. He is Mikey. <laughs> He'll eat anything. All right. Next. Next. I like these food ones. This is one that Will picked out. I'm not a huge she, fake banana. She picked that out just for me because she doesn't person. like Like I told him no and then I felt guilty. So I went back and got it. Oh, it looks cute. Looks like a banana. Unless you're a South Park fan, then you know what it looks like. You haven't even looked that napkin. <laughs> it looks like poop. Mr. Poop from South Park. Get the blood off the knife. Yes. All the juices. I'm sure you're going to love this one. I'll take the little one. It smells like fake banana to me. Oh, uh-uh. Here. Uh-uh. I like it. It's chocolate. It's got like a cookie cookie crisp co coating on it. You know what it reminds me of? Fake those, banana. Those Idaho spuds. That same. It's like not marshmallow, but it's like nougat. Funky. Mm -hmm. Not not nougat because I like nougat. No, it's not marshmallow. It's got more of a granular sugar to it. You're gross. So I don't know whatever whatever country it came from. It's good. Let me get. All right, then Willie wanted to get this cookie. Look at that, doesn't that look good? I was gonna say, show them some perspective because these things are huge. Yeah, it's also drier. Well, it's gonna be as dry, I'm sure. If anyone knows the names of these, let us know. It has lots of sugar on it. I'm hoping with the yellowish of it, it's got a lemon flavor. Me it. too. I love lemon. My top favorite flavors ever is so watermelon, <coughs> vanilla, and lemon. What are yours? Right. And then anything else except licorice. Black licorice. It just tastes like a sugar cookie. I'm done. There's no real flavor to it. It's just a yellow number five color. Mm -hmm. But it's good. This one actually is holding up more than the M&M's. I think it's because the M&M's 
doesn't allow it to. No. What would you rate that? For the cookies, I give that a six. Me too. It's pretty good. All right. You're running out of cutting room there. Yeah. All right. This next one is some fresh produce. Um, I've tasted this before. We've had it dry, or dehydrated and candied. Who knows what this is? I do. It's I do. kind of an ugly fruit. I do. What is it? It's a papaya. Papaya. It's fun so. To too. I've never tried a fresh papaya. Oh, that cuts like butter. Like butter. But I know like the uglier. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't have seeds. I thought papayas had like big black seeds. I don't know. Um, Maybe it's a hybrid made of. So, it's super soft and squishy though. It's like an avocado. Yeah, kind of. It's got the harder papery skin skin to it. Soft center. Uh-uh. <laughs> it tastes like This is the other reason I like these food ones. <laughs> Miss Picky Pants over here. It tastes like well I'm not gonna say until after you try it. <clears throat> Little strand there. It tastes bad, huh? It tastes like. <clears throat> and I'm thinking it could be. I mean. It tastes like stinky feet. No, because it smells good to me. Okay. But it tastes like stinky feet. Well, even with the candied ones, it. it, it it was more the flavor that they put on it that they that you tasted when you ate these. The sugar? Yeah. Maybe if you sprinkle some sugar on it. Put some sugar on me. You can't sing songs or we're gonna get copyrighted. As long as I don't do 30 seconds. Nuh uh. That's not the rule anymore. Try it with some sugar on it. <laughs> Better. Ew. All right, what do you rate that? Yeah, four. Zero for me. I'm not into stinky feet. All right. The last item is a surprise. Ooh. I've seen so many YouTubers do the honeycomb. I personally love honey, but I have never ate honeycomb before of you. Mm-mm. So I got this on Amazon. What? Your chip off your dad's chip out of your dad's old box. I was playing Amazon. And his grandkids it's are It's pretty always, expensive though. His grandkids when they were younger used to always go, Hey grandpa, can we play Amazon? So I got the honeycomb. So are we supposed to eat the cone? Or? Yep. Careful, because there is liquid in there. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. All right. So you're just supposed to just cut it. Use the spoon. Mmm. Cheater. Cheater. Ugh. So you're right. I'll give you the first bite, second bite since I tasted it already. Mmm. 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 Well, the honeycomb is mainly wax. Where do you think they get beeswax from? So the honeycomb itself gives it a, a chewy texture and all the flavor comes from the honey. And beeswax? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's like those candies you used to get with the little sugary sugar water in them. Look like you pop them in your mouth and you chew the, the wax like gum. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna say a ten out of ten on mm -hmm. the one, on that one. All right, so for the surprise, pull What's out surprise? your iPad and search ASMR. Well, these sobby YouTube viewers that we have probably already know this. I know, but we probably have a lot of people who don't. So I like to watch ASMRs. <clears throat> and you probably know there's quite a few popular ones out there. Um, okay, you ready? My favorite one right now is Zach Amar Sarver because he's really artsy fartsy with it. <laughs> he dresses all in black, even wears black latex glove when he drinks, eats. That's all the part you see. Like the and, first of it's like very entertaining. Well, and from what I've seen, only rarely do you see his whole face, but it's always from here no, down. No, not anymore. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> ASMR, Autonomous Sentry Meridian Response. Coined in 2010, ASMR is a relaxing, often sedative sensation that begins on the scalp and moves down on the body. On its own, a top via AMSR can garner over, well, lots of views. Um, so it's an auto sensory thing. It's kind of, you either love it or you hate it. Hates, start, you loves. Start, you start talking like this. But we're not going to talk at all. So we don't even know if the mic is picking up what I'm saying right now. We're going to put the mic up close to us. And we're going to see, this is a game for Will. How long to I see can if he here. can do it first. And if he can not talk. Okay, so we're going to start off with the items that you liked that I didn't. So... Thank you. 
Okay. I'm done. <clears throat> she wins. I'm done. One more. <laughs> way harder than I thought it would be. Zach, I don't think you have anything to worry about from <laughs> <laughs> No competition here. But you did it. So, if you liked that ASMR, let us know. Maybe you'll try again. So, what was your favorite out of all of it? Out of all of them? Mm -hmm. My favorite is these. They're yummy. So, what are some foods you guys think we should try? We've tried a lot of stuff. You no, will see. No Baloo. Baloo. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing we will never try. No. No Baloo. Don't, don't even go there. But you'll see in the future some of our throwback Thursdays. We've tasted a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's, um, don't that's, ruin the surprise. Well, no. I'm saying that's... That's pretty much our go-to thing for just spending some time with you guys because that's all we want to do with this is share our lives with you, um, share our adventures with you now instead of just sitting here talking about it. But yes. Every now and then we just like to chill and relax. As we said, adventures don't have to be the wild hanging off a cliff thing. It can just be sitting together and trying something new, spending time together, laughing Perfect. or trying not to laugh and just being together. So. We hope you loved this edition of Adventures with Nerdy and Flirty. Nerdy and Flirty. I forgot her name. Well, um, she, if you'll notice in in this video and a lot of them, she reverts to calling me by my secret identity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how can they make sure that they, um, if you want to notice? Ones? Yeah, if you want to know when they come up, I mean, you can always go to our web page and or our YouTube channel, Nerdy and Flirty, and check out all the videos. But if you want to be one of the firsts. Hit the bell down below. Ding, 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 ding. Then you'll get notified when new ones pop up. Yes, every Monday and Thursday. At so, thanks for joining us. We hope you have an amazing week. Um, and rock on from... Nerdy! Flirty and a little bit... Dirty! Be good to yourselves and everybody. It makes a better world. Love you! Talk to you later. Love you guys. <laughs>